I feel blessed that I had a minister that when he preached, it was about what was going on in Cleveland, Ohio. What was happening with the issue of race that was dividing people? And of course, my long story, which is really the story of getting to know Martin Luther King, was by inviting him to come to my church because I thought, we have this great minister, and he's been preaching about, uh, about racial justice, and I had every belief that that congregation would be so excited when they could hear that Martin Luther King wanted to come to their church, to my church. Well, lo and behold, quite a large number of them, particularly the wealthier people, did not want any part of Martin Luther King. And they did everything they could to keep him from coming to the church. Finally, a larger number of people persuaded, but he had to speak outside, not inside the church. And this was after he had won the Nobel Peace Prize. And this was Shaker Heights, Ohio. This was not the Deep South. And um, however, there is now a plaque on the back door of that church that says at certain, certain era, Martin Luther King came and spoke from these steps. And he changed the life of that congregation. Yes, they lost some very wealthy people. But the fact is, people's lives were changed. He marched into that church and was as gracious and as open. The whole church had to be guarded by police the night before. There were big demonstrations against his being there. And not very long ago, about five years ago, a young man came in, not so young by then, came to the back of the congregation and I happened to be there that Sunday. And he said, Pastor, Pastor, I have something I want to say. Well, everybody looked a little worried about who was this guy. We didn't know him. And so the pastor said, uh, this, of course, is a very different pastor now, years later. And he said, I want to come to apologize to you. He said, I was marching outside, carrying the American flag upside down the day that Dr. King was here to speak. And he said, all my life I have wrestled with why did I do that and so I'm here to ask forgiveness. And this was 30 years after it happened. I mean, that he had carried always in his heart that he made a mistake the day that he, he said, I think of the day I marched against Martin Luther King. And so these, what seemed like simple acts what to me just seemed like inviting Martin Luther King to the church, I thought everyone would be delighted. And that was pretty innocent, I must say. I mean, my African-American friends sort of smile when I say that and say, well, where have you been that you thought that was all going to work so neatly? But um, there's no question about what had changed my life.